Hey guys, uh, Califog on Bushcraft here. Uh, starting another uh, shelter series today. Um, a lot of places in New England, uh, Canada, um, Sweden, you know, places like that that have had some glacial activity have uh, a good amount of rocks. And uh, I do live in the Granite State. Um, New Hampshire, so uh, we do have some rocks here, uh, some good ones for shelter, some ones that aren't great for shelter. But I've got a rock here that is, uh, you know, this would be a very good uh, rock for a shelter. So this is it here. It's got this natural, natural overhang, which is, you know, you could probably squeeze a six foot person in there so uh... and i've been here before no rain or snow ever gets into there so i automatically know if i clear that out put some uh... spruce boughs or something in there i'm automatically gonna have a dry night so i'm gonna uh... i've got some trees that i cut down a long time ago that have been seasoned uh, i wanted to cut down any trees for the framework of this uh, and I'll show you how you can use a uh, rock with a natural overhang like this to uh, your advantage. Alright, first step what we're going to want to do is clear out these uh, small saplings here. Get them out of the way. Alright, I've gone and cleared out these, uh, these saplings. I've also taken any of the extra, you know, debris that was around it and uh, cleared it out. So we're going to get some uh, poles and start on the framework of the shelter. All right, we've got some poles here, so we're gonna find what angle we want. Like that. And just start putting them up. And then as we go further over, we need slightly longer poles. Just have to make sure they uh, stay the same spot, that they don't fluctuate any. That way we get a nice, even roof. I'm gonna make sure the poles aren't too rotted either. This one we can probably split up into two. And then we can go from there. Alright, we've uh, I'm almost done the main framework here. Also on the rock right behind it here, all this is uh, quartz and with steel. Some carbon steel, if you hit that, you can get sparks. So if I've got a piece of carbon steel like this, I strike it up against it and get sparks if I forget or if like my ferro ferro rod fails or something I I make some char cloth and use that. <laughs> 